था Hey everyone, Hassan here. Welcome to the world of Ha. What's up, what's up? Happy Friday. Right, it is Friday, right? Yeah, okay. I had to think for a second. Uh, things have been busy, but we are back at it. Hope everyone's doing well. Got a fun stream tonight. Uh, last night, I was on and we were opening up a variety of Pokemon cards, a few different boxes of things, some of the Japanese mystery boxes. And we pulled some really, really cool promo cards, which was super exciting. We got a Lugia, which is leading into today's set as well, which is exciting. We even pulled uh, some rare candy mystery boxes and got some fun stuff right there. Uh, some PSA cards out of the rare candy mystery boxes. Um, and uh, Oh, and then out of a random pack as well, we also got, this is one of my favorite pulls from last night, the alternate art Mew V from Fusion Strike. But tonight, we're opening up the brand new set of Pokemon cards that came out in English today, Silver Tempest. So we've opened up some of the Japanese sets over the last few weeks and months, and so we know many of the cards, but now the challenge comes to pull them in English. So that's where the real fun is, because they're large sets, more difficult to pull, uh, so that could be good or bad, you know, to see how fun it is. If we don't get a lot of good pulls, it's going to be kind of a boring, frustrating stream. But hopefully there's some good stuff here. Oh, we got a super chat already to start off the stream. And I, I how did I know? How did I know JL was going to pop in here with the super chat? As soon as I saw Operation Overdrive being uploaded on YouTube uh, earlier today, I was like, JL is going to be popping in here. I just know it. So shout out to JL. Thank you for the super chat. Operation Overdrive has started to get uploaded to YouTube, the season of Power Rangers. Um, yeah. If you, if you don't know, you can watch Power Rangers for free on YouTube, on the Power Rangers channel. So they've slowly been uploading every season. So they started on Operation Overdrive now. So they've there's a good amount of seasons out there now. Anyways, what's up? Michael Apollinar, Dylan Smith, Tomman256 Productions. Tomorrow is your 22nd birthday. Oh my gosh. Well, happy early birthday. That's super exciting. Um, Hulk197, what's up? Uh, Ibrahim Malik, Dog Station Box, Tyler Connolly, welcome, welcome. Um, it's always nice to, uh, to see some familiar faces in the chat. That's always fun. That's very cool. All right, hope everyone's doing well. So, what we're going to be opening tonight, okay, we have the Elite Trainer Box for Silver Tempest. I actually have two of these, but I think I'm only going to open up one because I also have two of the Pokemon Center exclusive version from PokemonCenter.com. So I'm probably only going to open up one of them as well. Um, and yeah, Mr. H. Oh yeah, no, I, I got gotcha, you, Mr. Mr. H. I, I, uh, I recognize the username now at this point. So thanks for, for hopping in. That's awesome. Hope you're doing well. Um, but yeah, so we're going to open up at least one of each of these boxes. Okay, that's how we're going to start off the fun. And then, that's not all. Then, if you think, you know, all right, great, Elite Trainer Boxes, we'll get a sense of the set, you know, see what cards we want to pull, pull that. Then we're just going to just open up a ton of packs. I got a whole booster box of Silver Tempest. Not one, but three booster boxes. I'm opening up at least two. If I get a lot of good pulls out of the, the Elite Trainer boxes and the two booster boxes, then I might leave one sealed. But if I don't, then I'm going to open up that third box as well and just kind of see what we get. So either way, we're opening up a lot of Silver Tempest tonight. Very, very excited. Um, yeah. Uh, it's Helen Gillespie. What's up? Dylan Smith, what's up? Shame I missed last night's stream work was a killer. No worries. Uh, all the streams are always archived as well. Um, all right, cool. Well, let's just jump right into it, right? Let's just stop, you know, wasting time and just get to opening up some cards and see if we get any good pulls. I um, got my new playmat ready here as well that I opened up uh, yesterday on stream. 
from the Arceus uh, Ultra Premium Collection, the GameStop exclusive. So, all right. So we got Alolan Vulpix heavily featured. Excuse me, which is cool. I like Alolan Vulpix. Um, my um, my wife Maheen, she actually has a build a bear of Alolan uh, Vulpix, which is cool as well. And it came with a little promo card too, which I ended up. Uh, she's like, "All right, do you want the card?" I'm like, "Yep." <laughs> uh, we got the player's guide. So, all right, before we get into this, the the big hits. Let's get to the big hits of the set. All right, I'm not going to go through all the cards here, but. The main stuff that we want to pull, out of like the basic cards, I like the Unknown, V and V Star. Um, and then of course we have Lugia, V and V Star. There's also ho -Oh V, which is pretty cool. But out of like the rare, rare stuff, right? Um, ooh, there's a Full Art uh, Rescue Ram, which is cool. Full Art Unknown, that's a good one. Uh, Alternate Art Unknown is one of my top cards I want to pull. Alternate Art Unknown. Uh, there's also Full Art Lugia. Alternate Art Lugia is another top card. And the um, Full Art Ho-Oh as well. There's a Rainbow Unknown. And Rainbow Lugia. And a Gold Lugia. Um, and then there's Trainer Gallery stuff as well. And out of the Trainer Gallery, that Blaziken VMAX is pretty cool. The Rayquaza VMAX is pretty solid. There's also a Rayquaza VMAX gold card. So I would say, out of all these cards, right, the top two cards I want to pull, number one for me is actually the Unknown Alternate Art. Number two is the Lugia Alternate Art. I, I love the Alternate Arts, and I, especially the Unknown one I think just looks really cool. Um, so those are my top two cards I want to pull tonight. Okay. After that... It's uh, gold stuff, man. I want gold Lugia. I want gold Rayquaza. Um, and then after that, we got Rainbow Lugia, Rainbow Unknown. Um, and then after that, it's the full arts and stuff. But th that's basically, you know, there's a good amount of cards in here that we want to collect. Uh, but we're going for the alternate arts as the, uh, the top hunt. Um, there's also alternate arts of some other Pokemon that I don't really care for, so hopefully we don't pull those ones. I mean, any alternate art is cool to pull, but if I'm gonna pull any, I hope it's, you know, one that I want. So we'll see. Uh, Kanji says, whoa, two streams in a row. I know, there's just been a lot of Pokemon stuff. And also I mentioned I'm gonna be going out of town soon, so I just wanna, like, get all this stuff taken care of, uh, before then. So you all have some, you know, content to enjoy and watch and have fun with. So, all right. Here's what we have inside the Elite Trainer box. Here are the card sleeves. Oops. These are pretty cool. They're like this um, bluish color. A little bit of a shine to it. That's pretty cool. You got your standard stack of energies that come with the, the Elite Trainer boxes. Your uh, deck dividers. Pretty cool. Standard. Uh, oh, I had, they actually gave me two sets of the the um, the counter, so that was a little bonus extra thing that I got. Here's what the uh, dice look like. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Pretty nice. I like the whole color scheme going. Wait, isn't there supposed to be a coin? Did they accidentally give me two of these and not a coin? Oh no. Uh, hold on. Uh. Or wait, I'm confused. No, there isn't a coin. There's just a V star marker. But what is the. Oh no, that's the die. Okay. Yeah, okay, there's no coin. It was just a V-Star marker, 
which I'm fine with because I have a ton of those anyway. So, okay, whatever. But we got some Silver Tempest packs right here. So let me uh, package these back up into the box here. And then let's open up our first Silver Tempest packs. I'm excited. All right, how many do we got? We have eight booster packs. So here are the pack arts, in case you're wondering. Looks like I got two of each pack art, but these are the four different pack arts. We got the Alolan Vulpix, Reggie Alecki, Reggie Drago, and Lugia. All right, that's fun. Well, let's get right to it. Our first Silver Tempest pack. A lot of these cards may look familiar if you've seen my recent streams. You may have seen these in Japanese. But now we have them in English. Pikachu, that's a cool one. Reverse Snow Runt and a non hollow Furizion. We got Lance, Solteria, Brandon, Noibat, Snowrunt, Sandial, Fennekin, Murkrow. Oh, Radiant cards! I forgot about these! Yo, Radiant Jirachi! I forgot there's, I think, three new Radiant cards. I know one of them's Radiant Alakazam, which I do have in Japanese. Um, but this is super cool. I forgot about these. This is a nice one. I like Jirachi. Jirachi's so cute. And Hollow Metacham. Yeah, that's fun. Hello again, Steve. Welcome back. We just pretty much got started. Uh, once we're a little bit further into the stream, then I'm going to start speed running the openings a little. But for now, since we're seeing some of these cards in English for the first time, I'm showing them one by one here. Reverse Boniri and a Hisuian Braviary. Uh, how was my day? Not too bad. Um, you know, I had work today, busy as usual, but uh, the weekend is here, you know? The weekend is here. All right, V Star Marker. All right, Reverse Hollow Dragapult and Chestnut V, our first V Pokemon from Silver Tempest is Chestnut. Chestnut's pretty cool. I do have a plush of Chestnut, actually. I did choose Chespin and whatever the game was that Chespin was a starter and uh, evolved it up to Chestnut. I think I have something shiny. You know how you can sometimes tell just by like the very edge of the card got this like slight shine to it? So I think I think we got something shiny at the end of this pack. No worries, Dylan. Take care. Have a good night. Alright. Yeah, see you can see that little bit of that shine at the edge there. There's something there. It's impossible to hide it. Oh, Mawile V-Star. First V-Star of the set. Mawile V-Star. I don't know if I want to like spread, organize these in any way. 
I don't know. Whatever. We'll just kind of spread it out for now, and then I'll collapse them as needed. I know nothing about these cards. Will you try to build a complete set? I... I'm not going to. I The thing about the Pokemon cards, especially in recent years, is there's too many cards in a set. Like, this set, it's a, it's a little hard to see out of it from the camera. There's 195 cards plus a ton of extra, like, ultra rare cards and stuff. So that's another, like, 20, 30 cards. Plus the trainer gallery cards, which there's another, like, 20, 30 of them. So there's, like, you know, like, I don't know, 250, 260-something cards in a set. And a lot of that, like, you know, like I said, maybe 100 or so is, like, a lot of rare cards that is just ridiculous to track down. Now, what I could probably do is buy a bunch of single cards to complete out a binder. But at the same time, I don't care too much about a lot of them. So what I usually do, honestly, is, like, there's a few cards in each set that I try and pull. And I'll just buy, you know, packs and hopefully I'll pull some of the cards I want. And then if I don't, I don't. Um... You know, I guess it's just kind of the fun to see if I end up pulling it. I could always buy singles, but I rarely ever do just because it's, it's more fun to pull it out of a pack. Now, I realize, like, you know, for some cards I really want, that may never happen. But, yeah, I guess it is what it is. Um, so, for, at least for tonight, like, my goal or the fun of it is I want to get one of those two alternate art cards. Uh, which the alternate arts, you know, do tend to be more rare as well. Um... So that's that's the goal. If I don't get it, then you know, I guess I don't I don't get it. Um, but it would be fun to pull. It. There is actually a um, a shop that I've been to, uh, not too far away, called uh, the Fantastic Store. Blowout Cards, the Fantastic Store. I did a video on my channel a few weeks, few months back with my parents actually there. Um, and they have a lot of singles and stuff too, a lot of cool stuff. So I might check that out at some point again and maybe get a couple cards I want. But for now, it's just, uh, it's the thrill and the fun of opening packs. And now I've lately started to expand into opening up some like mystery boxes. Um, cause that's also fun because sometimes, you know, some mystery boxes will mix in older vintage packs and stuff too. So that, that gets even more, you know, nostalgic and fun. The problem is, you know cost and prices of everything too uh which gets uh gets pretty tricky i'm also running into honestly just storage challenges of trying to figure out how to store a lot of these um cards reggie drago v all right there we go pokemon i think is like really perfected the formula of finding out like making cards look really cool and wanting people to collect it and then i think they just went overboard with it they're just like oh people like these cool you know v ones and the radiant cards and these trainer galleries why not throw in like 30 new ones in every set and it just gets super overwhelming now every now and then like they 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 release at, once a year there's usually like a special set they release in the holiday time that is a smaller set um and it tends to have some like really cool rare you know fun cards as well i recently uh maybe it was last year i think there was a set called celebrations for the anniversary i collected that entire set that's one of the only sets i have a complete collection of maybe even the only set i think that i have a complete collection of i just i loved it so much and it was a smaller set, so it was relatively easier to do. Um, this year, there's another new set coming out called Crown Zenith. Uh, they just announced it recently, this holiday. or Actually, it's going into early next year. I think it's going to release as well. Um, yeah, I think it's like January through May or something. They're going to be releasing different Crown Zenith products. So depending on what cards are in that set and how big it is, maybe I'll try and collect the entire set. But these regular sets they release... There's just no way. There's too many cards. Too many. All right. Well, that was the Elite Trainer box. Yeah, not too bad. You know, pretty decent. So why don't we open up um, 
a Pokemon Center exclusive version of the Elite Trainer Box. So let's let's compare the difference. So this one is usually, I think Elite Trainer Boxes, if I remember correctly, are about $40. PokemonCenter.com ones are about $50, so they're a little bit more expensive. They usually have, I think, more packs. Yeah, 10 booster packs instead of 8. And a couple, you know, extra little goodies, or, or exclusive goodies, I should say, like in terms of the difference uh, between the regular version. So, you know, I think they're fun. I think they're pretty cool. And they're more exclusive because you can only get them on PokemonCenter.com. So that's always interesting. So. Okay. Move stuff out of the way. Okay. So what we got in here here are the card sleeves, which this looks the exact same, I believe. Right? Isn't this the same one? It might be the same. I didn't. I didn't fully pay attention. Let me grab the other one real quick, just for comparison. Oh no, it's actually a little different. This was the regular version, and this is the Pokemon Center version. So it's similar, but it's a slightly different background pattern, smaller Alolan Vulpix. So you get this kind of exclusive version of the sleeves. I actually like this one better because uh, you have like a more clear picture of it. I like that a little bit more silver there because blue and silver is a really cool like color combo. So that's pretty fun. Um, here are the deck dividers. Those look pretty similar. Your, you know, stack of energy cards per usual. <coughs> Standard stuff here, same dice and everything. Um, 10 booster packs. Oh, wait, what? There's another set of sleeves in here? I don't think they've done that before. Usually, like, you don't you don't get another set of sleeves. But you get Lugia sleeves in here. Oh, that's sick. All right, I highly recommend the Pokemon Center version over the regular one, then. These Lugia sleeves are really cool. I love that. Here's the V-Star marker and an exclusive coin. Exclusive Alolan Vulpix coin. Which would have been neat except for the fact that, I don't know how they did this, but it almost looks like the way they printed it, there's like a cross right there and it like really cuts off the foil pattern at the marker, which like halfway through the Alolan Vulpix's face, it's like cut off. It looks kind of weird, but you know, whatever. It's a, it's a coin. But Lugia Sleeves is a win right there. Uh, let's see what's in the chat. Da, da, da. Tyler says, well, I tried to get the rest of the Power Rangers Mega Force cards from that one live stream a couple months back. Um, I It's one of those things that, like, every now and then I may kind of look around to see if I can find any cards, but I'm not going to, like, actively try and complete the entire set, mostly because the Series 5 cards that were released only in Europe are, like, impossible to get now, pretty much. So, unless somebody happens to sell them on eBay, which also is very difficult to ever find, I, you know, I'm just not going to be able to complete it, so I'm just not going to bother. But, it's fun. The, Pokemon, the Power Rangers cards are fun. How's the family going? Family's doing well, thank you. Yeah, everybody's everybody's doing good. All right, we got our 10 booster packs. Let's just uh, get right to it. You know, um, Mr. H, I don't know if you remember, but I remember one time, I think you brought a bunch of, like, old cards that you wanted to get rid of i think there's a bunch of like star wars cards and maybe other stuff um i still have those actually i still have them in a um in one of my little i have a bunch of storage um boxes and stuff like to the side of me here and one of them is uh are, are some of the star wars cards um i also i think i still have my crazy bones i remember that was a big trend back in the day um, I think I have them somewhere. Uh, that that I might have gotten rid of the crazy bones. I can't remember to be honest. 
but I, I, I do still have the, the card somewhere. Oh, snap. Alolan Vulpix V-Star. Nice. Another V-Star. Do I remember Toys R Us? Oh, of course I remember Toys R Us. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I know it's, I know some people are like, oh, Toys R Us is back. It's, it's, there's a section in Macy's that's branded Toys R Us and it's nowhere near the same. Um, I mean, it's fun to see like Jeffrey the Giraffe back at the, you know, the thing, but it's like, it's just not the same. It's just not the same. Um, I don't remember what cards there were. I still have a bag of crazy bones. Nice. Yeah, all I remember is Star Wars. I don't I don't remember if there was anything else, but Oh, we got another Radiant card. We got the Radiant Alakazam. Nice. So this one I do have in Japanese, so it's cool to pull the English one as well. And that's the second out of I think three different Radiant cards in the set. We got the Radiant Jirachi and now Radiant Alakazam. Um yeah, and Steve, I actually worked at Toys R Us uh, for, um, I think it was just one summer, I think it was, um, just for fun. I mean, it was, you know, nice to to work there, get to know the system, and kind of, you know, just, yeah, I mean, it was, it was my, my fun, my fun spot, you know, I'd always, always be going to Toys R Us, um, so... Good times. I remember actually, uh, Mr. H, when you when you saw me at Toys R Us one time. That was uh, that was pretty funny. It was pretty cool. All right, we got a trainer gallery card here. Guard of War trainer gallery, and then a Keldeo. Trainer gallery. Let's just, uh, let's put trading trainer gallery cards there. You know, we'll put the V-Stars and Vs all together. I'll save a separate pile for, like, full arts, rainbows, ultra rares, you know, that sort of thing. You were there a lot, too. I, I mean, like, there's nothing else like it, you know? It's just the sheer, like, variety of stuff. Like, it just... It's such a shame, like, I think about, like, my son will never know what Toys R Us was like, you know? He'll just know about, like, Amazon. <laughs> and, I, you know, I guess, like, Target and stuff or whatever, you go to their toy section, which is, it's not the same either, but that's, that's where I'm at now if I ever need to get anything. But uh, it's usually Amazon or Target at this point. Um, Incineroar. KB Toys. I worked at KB Toys for like a day, I think. Um, I actually, I remember it was at the mall and I got hired and they actually got a new owner at the store. And when I got hired, I was hired to uh, work at the register to be a, a cashier. And my first day there, they had me like stocking shelves, taking out the trash, cleaning out the back room and stuff. And I was like, are you guys going to train me at the register? And they're like, no, we'll just keep like, just keep, you know, doing what you're doing. We'll see. We'll see. And then I think at one point things got busy. They even asked me to go up to the register and help out, but I had zero training. And then they just ended up just sending me back to like, cause obviously I couldn't help. Like, so I just went back to like cleaning out the back room and stuff. Um, the one in Sterling. I wonder if you're talking about the one at the mall there, because that's, so that's the one that I was worked at for like a day or two days or just less than a week. And then, you know, like I talked to the, the, um, the, the owner again. And, and I'm like, so, you know, am I going to end up like getting trained and stuff like to kind of do, you know, some of this other stuff. And he was kind of like, yeah, well, we'll see. You know, right now we kind of just, you know, need you to do some of this other stuff. And I was like, that's not really what you said you hired me for. And then they ended up um, changing up the schedule on me. Like, I checked the schedule. I wasn't working a certain day. 
And then I get a call, and I'm, like, at my grandparents' house or something, and they're like, where are you? Why aren't you in for work today? And I was like, uh, what? The schedule? Like, I wasn't on the schedule. They're like, yes, you are. I'm like, I checked the schedule, and I found out, you know, they, they actually ended up, like, changing it, but they didn't really notify people. Like, the whole new owner, it was just poorly managed. And, and then... He's like, I need you to come in right now, and we need to have a serious conversation about your commitment to this and stuff. And I was like, are you serious right now? Like, first of all, you're not training me properly in what you actually said. And then you're, you know, changing up the schedule on me. And I was like, I literally just started this, and I have, like, everything I've gotten has been, like, terrible and bad vibes. And I just, I quit. <laughs> that was it. I've never had any issues at, like, any other job like that. But that was, um... That was, he was just so rude. Um, so rude. Um, so I, I mean, I don't really even consider that I worked there necessarily because I really, it was like less than a week, you know? Um, there's one in the mall, but then there's one in the shopping center at Reese Evans Dream. Oh. There was one there? I see, I don't even remember. Interesting. I vaguely remember the mall one, but. There's one at the... Oh, okay. I know exactly which one you're... What center you're talking about, but the... Huh. Interesting. Well. Oh, well. It wasn't meant to be, you know? Yeah, I've, I've worked at... My first job was Dunkin' Donuts. I've worked at Best Buy. I've worked at Toys R Us. And then the rest of my jobs have all been, like in my career like working at a uh doctor's office and then you know now for a large health system and stuff so i've kind of done all that that might have been closed before you're old enough ah okay what i the other thing i remember and this is like when i was really little uh there was a store called caldor i i don't think it was specific to toys but like I know they had a toy section and I know that they had Power Rangers there because like my grandparents would like call like, you know, I'd be like, oh, I, I need the, you know, the Mighty Morphin, you know, Power Rangers, like the Green Ranger. Like we'd call like Haldor, we'd keep calling them and then they'd be like, oh yeah, we have the Green Ranger in stock. And then my grandparents would take me over there and I remember like getting like some of the, the old Mighty Morphin Power Rangers from Caldor. That was like, we'd always rush over there and, and, and get them. So I don't know what was so special about Caldor, but... Yes, it was in Herndon, yeah. Yeah. Um, so the, literally my only memory of it is... Uh, ooh, Alolan Vulpix V. My only memory is the getting Power Ranger stuff from there. Wait, ooh, what is... Uh, interesting. Okay. So this card, it's a little hard to tell on camera. You can kind of see it there. It almost kind of looks like it's got like... A shiny foil pattern all across it or it could be that the card is kind of scratched up all over so I, I don't know if that's intentional or not I feel like it would be but in some angles it looks kind of sloppy and in some angles it looks okay when it kind of shines I guess if we pull another one of them we'll see but that's kind of interesting you used to go there too yeah. Good old, good old times. <laughs> Wait, Mr. H, are you still in the area? Um, Or, or I can't remember if you are still around or in another state. <clears throat> Hollow Rapidash. That's cool. All right. Well, Nothing super crazy in that Elite Trainer box either, but, you know, some fun stuff. So now, though, is where the real fun begins. Now we get into a booster box. It's just straight packs over and over and over. You're in PA. Okay, that's what I, that's what I was, 
thinking as well, but okay, you're in PA, gotcha. Folks, here is the Silver Tempest booster box. What's my favorite season of Power Rangers? Um, that's like really hard to pick. I mean, I know sometimes I say time for, sometimes I, it, it honestly just depends on my mood sometimes too, you know? Um, it, that's, that's hard. Um, so what I will say because I don't know if it's my number one favorite necessarily, but one of my favorites uh, is Dino Fury. Dino Fury, the, the most recent stuff that's now on Netflix, has been pretty fun. And the fact that that cast is continuing on to a new season with Cosmic Fury next year, I'm excited about it. It's pretty cool. And 30th anniversary special. Come on, guys. 30th anniversary special next year. Very excited for that. A lot of the OG Rangers coming back. Good luck with the rest of packs. Gotta run. Take care. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, we got a full art. Full art Alolan Vulpix V. Nice. That's pretty cool. I love the, you know, again, the way they do the full arts, how colorful the backgrounds are and stuff. Like, oh, so cool. That's fun. Nice. All right. All right, we got our first full art of Silver Tempest, and it's the Alolan Vulpix, which is a nice way to kick things off. I did see Adam. I did see his badge and stuff too. Very curious to see what's going on there. Did I get the iPhone 14? Yeah, yeah, I got it on, on, on launch day. I got the 14 Pro Max. Oh, we got another Radiant card. Wait, I didn't know about... Oh, maybe there's more than three Radiants. I thought there was a different one, but I don't remember it being this. Maybe it's this. But that's really cool. Radiant Serena. And a Reggie Drago V. Alright, does anyone know how many Radiant cards are in this set? In Silver Tempest? Because we got three different ones, so maybe that's all of them. But maybe not. By the way, y'all, um, if you were wondering, uh, the person I was chatting with uh, earlier in the chat, uh, who I was saying, Mr. H, the Hulk197 in the chat, uh, he was actually one of my elementary and middle school teachers. Um, he taught me for part of fourth grade, like he wasn't my primary fourth grade teacher, but we would like switch teachers for like certain subjects so for math and science uh, I think it was those two he was my uh, teacher in fourth fifth grade he was like my main teacher that I had <clears throat> and then when I went to middle school so he actually like you know switched to fifth grade when I went to fifth grade and then he ended up switching to sixth grade to middle school when I went to middle school and so he was my uh, I think it was science my science teacher in in sixth grade as well so i had him three years in a row to some capacity um and honestly like you know you know how like a lot of people you have like a certain teacher or something that really made an impression on you when you were younger and stuff um and and uh they were just super cool and you know just made made school fun and interesting that was him uh he was like my favorite teacher um growing up the one that i you know always truly remember as well too so it's like kind of surreal 
to uh, see him sometimes pop into my YouTube chat and stuff. I'm like, this guy taught me when I was just a tiny little boy, you know, like I didn't really know what I was doing in life. I was so young and uh, he's still popping in to check in and see how things are going. Like that's, that's so cool, you know? Am I going to get the new iPad that came out? No. Um, there's some, you know, new enhancements they're doing here and there to some of that stuff. But, like, my iPad Pro from a couple years ago still is fantastic. And I just, I'm good with it. You know, I did get the new Apple Watch uh, Series 8. Um, and I got the phone. And I got the AirPods. So I got that stuff. But... As of now, no plans to get a new iPad, no plans to get a new MacBook. Those were large purchases that are pretty significantly great already that I just can't justify any cost to get something more at this point. All right, come on, let's get some good cards in here. Trainer Gallery. Melodic right here and a hollow metacham. All right, another trainer gallery card. <laughs> you are so cool and awesome, and you inspired me to make videos. Uh, thank you for that. I appreciate the, the nice comments, and I'm glad I could help in some way. Um, you know, I had a lot of inspirations myself, and uh. It's cool to be able to, you know, pass that on to others and have the community grow, you know? Just want to say thank you for inspiring me. Well, thank you for, for just hanging out and, you know, that's, that's all that I can ask for is just somebody to come in here and just hang out, chat, have some fun, you know? So I appreciate that and I'm, I'm glad, you know, that I could help in some way. That's always been my goal. My focus is just, you know, stay positive. I don't get involved in drama and stuff. It just, you know, at the end of the day, it's like just be yourself, have fun, and just kind of, you know, do do what you want to do. Do what makes you happy. Jinx. Oh, that's a cool trainer gallery card. That's cool. And a Hisuian Arcanine V. Still waiting for some real crazy pulls. The biggest one is this full art right here, but you know, there's a lot of other ultra rares out there that like just want to be able to pull some of them, you know? Professor Laventon, oops, and Del Fox. Okay, I'm gonna make some room here. Drink some water real quick and then we'll continue. Am I getting Scarlet or Violet? Uh, I'm probably gonna get Scarlet. And Maheen will get We'll get violet. 
All right, back at it. at the same time gotta stay hydrated it's important i know i say that and i need to take my own advice because i feel like i don't usually drink enough oh my gosh i almost accidentally skipped this we just pulled the rayquaza v max gold card from the trainer gallery oh my gosh this was one of my top pulls that I wanted to do. Oh, dude, this looks amazing. I don't know if you can even like, I, I, on one side it looks so like smooth and stuff and then in the light, there's like a little bit of the shine and stuff. Oh my gosh, that's so sick. Dude, and it looks good. The centering and everything, at least from the front. Wait, let me get it in a sleeve and then examine this. Wait, this looks like perfect. I mean, like, I I don't know for sure, but like, this is like perfect. Pretty much, maybe ever so slightly, but like, I mean, it, it's the corners and stuff all look clean. I don't see any whitening or any, like this looks top notch quality. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Whew. We pulled a gold card. I said, I, you know, my top two were the alternate arts. And then after that, the two gold cards. And we pulled one of them. Uh, that's so cool. Yes. Oh, that makes me happy. There we go. All right. Okay. I'm pretty happy with, uh, with what we got so far. Very cool. All right, nice. Let's see what we got. Let's keep it going. Let's keep the fun going. It sneaks up on you because it's a part of the trainer gallery. So that's why I was flipping through and it, you know, it's the second to last card when I do the pack trick and then it just like just popped right up. out of there still got a lot left in this first box There's a lot of packs in a booster box And this is just booster box number one, by the way. All right. After this first box, we're going to start to speed run the packs. All right. So for now, I'm kind of going one, one by one. But after this, it's speed run time. Oops. Rough Trainer Gallery. That's cool. 
so. Oops, <laughs> sometimes the cards kind of stick together. All right, what else? What else is new? I did also get the Splatoon 3 Amiibo. They arrived today, so they're, they're upstairs. So I'll have to bring them down at some point. So like I said, I'll be doing a big Nintendo-related live stream probably in December to open up a bunch of stuff, but... Um, so those will be included in that, but I, I did get all three of the Splatoon 3 Amiibo. that artwork that is awesome yeah that's some really cool artwork there very cool Maybe one day I'll also finally get around to submitting stuff to PSA. I've thought about it for a while, but I'd have to be very selective because it can get expensive, you know? But I have to look at the turnaround times again, too, because I don't want to send it in and wait, like, six months, you know? I know I'm not saying much. I'm also tired too from today, from this week. Just, you know. And uh, it's been it's been a lot. I'm just going through these packs one by one. Sometimes I'm just like so focused staring at the cards. Ooh, look at that. Trainer gallery card. And a forest seal stone. This looks sick. Um, I did, when I was looking at the trainer gallery, this is one that stood out to me just because I thought it was kind of cool to have all these characters um, from the gallery region in one in one card like that. That's, that is a pretty cool card. I like that. If there was a trainer that I was going to get from the trainer gallery, uh, this is probably the one that I, that I would want. That's really cool. Nice. I guess it's technically a full art, even though it's trainer gallery, so I'll just put it there. All right. All right, I'd say pretty good box overall.
Am I going to get the new Cosmic Fury toys when they come out soon? Well, first of all, uh, we don't know when Cosmic Fury toys are coming out. And some of the rumors indicate that probably not for quite a while. Maybe even well after the show actually releases. So, who knows? Um, and then, second of all, it also just depends on what the toys are. Like, action figures of the Rangers? Yeah, probably I'll get it. Some of the roleplay stuff? Maybe not. Like, I actually saw at Walmart, um, when maybe a couple weeks ago, um, Walmart had one of the new Dino Fury toys, the, whatever the sword is that I think they use in their Zords, um, it's not the Chroma Fury Saber, I, I don't think, it's the, I don't know, whatever it is, the, there's the new sword toy or whatever, I actually decided to not get it. Um, cause it, it looked kind of cheap looking and stuff. And while I'm sure it had some fun lights and sound stuff or whatever, it just, you know, swords take up space and stuff too. I, I'm just kind of at that point now where I'm like, unless it looks really cool, there's some really fun functionality or something. I just don't, you know, I'm, I'm just going to pass. So it just depends on what it is. So like action figures, Rangers, probably I, I usually get those swords most likely role play stuff that's that's a mix for me that's a mix reshiram v am i asking too many questions no no please it keeps me entertained this is that's what it's for so i'm not just sitting here quietly kyle what's up kyle how's it going how's the pull i am just getting through my first boost i've opened up two elite trainer boxes and then i'm finishing up my first booster box but i have two more booster boxes um so far not bad i mean i've gotten three different radiant cards a bunch of trainer galleries a bunch of v v stars i got these two like full arts right here and i did get from the trainer gallery the gold rayquaza so it's been uh pretty solid pretty solid stuff i would say Yeah, this set, usually I buy two booster boxes. This time I was like, there's a lot of cool cards in the set. I don't want to regret, you know, not trying to get any or whatever and, and give myself an extra chance to get stuff. So I bought a, a, a third booster box just in case where I might still keep it sealed. But I might open it. We'll see. We'll see. Cubing with Braga. My birthday is in two days. Oh, happy early birthday. That's awesome. The Rayquaza is beautiful, right? It is a nice looking card. I like when they do that style of like the black background and the, and I like how they did like green highlights over it too. Cause they, some of the other cards, it's just kind of gold. They don't really do much more than that. Ooh, wait, we got a, a V in the Trainer Gallery. Blissey V from the Trainer Gallery. That's cool. Okay. Two more packs in this box, and then we'll go to the next one, and we'll speed run. birthdays on december 12th nice seems like we've got a lot of birthdays coming up mine's in january so not too too far lugia v star finally a lugia here very cool lugia v star there we go very cool All right. Let's just... I'm getting impatient. Radiant Jirachi, another one. Radiant Jirachi. So I wonder if it is these three, because I got Radiant Jirachi, Alakazam, and Serena. 
So hopefully I have all of them. We'll see. Aaron will no, very lucky. <laughs> yeah, so far this was a, it was a nice box. So uh, are you all ready? Let me do a quick little uh, water break. Very important to stay hydrated. I got my two boxes here. All right, let's see. Just in case, I do end up keeping one sealed. Which one do I want to keep sealed? Maybe this one? Because this one feels like, I don't know, it's like looser, the plastic and stuff. This one feels pretty solid. Yeah, we'll just save this one just in case. And by that, I mean, if I end up getting some other really good pulls, like some alternate arts or whatever in here, then I might not open up the other box because I might want to save it. But if I don't really get much good, then we got another box. More tries. So we'll see what happens. Uh, <laughs> where was I born? In, in the U.S. and Virginia. Here we go. How do you say your last name? Good question. So um, my last name is used sometimes, you know, uh, like it's Pakistani, but also like there's an Arabic way of saying it too, uh, which is a little different. So the Arabic way that some people say is like Ahmed um, with like the kind of sound Ahmed, but we sort of say Ahmed. Uh, Ahmad for like kind of the Pakistani style I, I've never really liked the way that we pronounce it in the Pakistani style because like A-H-M-E-D Ahmad like that doesn't where's the A eh when it's A-H and then Mud versus when it's M-E-D like it just never made sense to me um, whereas Ahmed at least the A ah is Ah and then Med Med like you know it kind of makes sense the Arabic way of saying it but I mean, I'm Pakistani, so we say Ahmad, um, you know. But then again, a lot of people um, just say Ahmed, you know, as kind of the American way of, of saying it. But, um, oh, yeah, we're going to speed run, right? Let's just zoom through these. But technically, it's, for me at least, Ahmad. So Hassan Ahmad is, is technically what it is. Um, but Hassan Ahmad is also pretty solid. Um, and then the, the purely American way that most people end up saying it is Hassan Ahmed, but which I'm fine with, whatever, you know, but, um, technically speaking, oh, wait, did we get some, I see another Radiant Jirachi and then, oh, Reshiram. I thought, okay, I thought we got something else there. This is my third Radiant Jirachi. Oh man. What's up, Alexis? Hello, Travis Clark. Welcome, welcome. Speed run. Dragonite reverse hollow, that's cool. <laughs> I'm excited to see the Q Ranger Voyagers in Cosmic Fury. Me too. I, I like them. I mean, well, I do have the toys of them as well. Um, but I, I like them. I, I'm excited. I mean, look, I would have loved Q Ranger suits because they are like my favorites, but I also do like um, the Voyagers. It'll be interesting to see how many of them we do actually end up getting. Like, is it just going to be the main one? Is there going to be, you know, I wonder. Ooh. 
Oops, I messed up that card trick. Oh, there's the rare. Mawile V-Star, another one of these. song group that I love oh my favorite music group pentatonics yeah pentatonics is my my favorite music group Ursaluna V I don't see Hasbro doing all of them because they didn't do all the Dino Fury toys yeah that's the second question so one is how many are they actually going to have in Cosmic Fury given that it's only like 10 episodes and then are all of those even going to get toys? If any. If any. Right? Like. So, I, you know, I guess I'm glad that I do have all the Japanese ones. But we'll see what they end up doing. Cruising through, still waiting for some big hits in this box. Nothing super big just yet. I, to be honest, enjoy the Zordon era of Power Rangers. Um, you know, I will say the Zordon era. Um, and, and I guess just the Saban era in general at first. Um, just doesn't hold up as well, you know, as uh, as I would have thought. You know, any of the stuff I've gone at, kind of gone back and seen. Whereas the Disney era is kind of the opposite of when I watched it. Like, I enjoyed it. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like I've also just kind of started to appreciate it a bit even more nowadays. Um, but Zordon era is, you know, they all, every, every season, every era, every whatever has its, you know, Ups and downs. Oh, all right. Flappy Trainer Gallery and Alolan Vulpix V. Wait, is this the one? Is this the one I was talking about earlier that had the weird foil thing? That I wasn't sure if it was intentional. Yeah, okay, so it isn't. Oh, wow, okay. So the little foil stuff all over the Vulpix that I thought looked real like sloppy and like almost like there were scratches all over the Vulpix. Let me see if I can show. Like you see how the Vulpix is like glistening in certain parts? It, it's not supposed to do that because you see the one here and it doesn't do that. Um, so uh, yeah, this one is just terrible condition then for some reason. I don't know what happened, but... Uh, what Disney era? Oh, do you, uh, you don't know? Or I, uh, so Disney owned Power Rangers for a while. So there was the Saban era, which, you know, 
had the Zordon stuff as well. Uh, Zordon era, whatever, as part of it. But then Disney owned Power Rangers. So it's the... Ninja Storm all the way through RPM. Melodic Trainer Gallery again. Alright, need more card sleeves. Uh, where's my thing? was here. Where's my card sleeve thing? Yeah, whatever. I'll just open up another another pack of these. These are the card sleeves that I use by the way. Until Saban got it back from Disney. Yeah, then that's I guess what people usually call the Neo Saban era. Just to distinguish them. Um, which would be Samurai all the way through Super Ninja Steel, right? Because then Beast Morphers was Hasbro era. Beast Morphers through now. Lugia V Star again. Where's the reverse hollow? It was kind of stuck a little bit. We got a full art Gordy trainer from the trainer gallery. Kuno Hollow, that's cool. Home of Star V. I just pulled the. Well, I've had this in Japanese, but I pulled another one last night in Japanese. There we go. Yeah, Heim Saban is uh, definitely rich. That is uh, that is true. This is our fourth Radiant Jirachi. We've only had one Radiant Alakazam and one Radiant Serena. So I don't know if it's just me or if Jirachi is just that like easier to get than some of the other ones. But I've gotten a bunch of Radiant Jirachis. We'll do a full recap at the end, by the way, um, for anybody that joined later as well. We'll go through all the... The big pulls that we got. Yeah, I don't know. So far, this box, nothing that wowed me just yet. We still have a little bit left. But if if, if we don't get anything super great, then I'm, I'm going to open up the other box. Just to give us another chance, you know? 
see if it will redeem itself. We got a superior V. Professor Burnett, full art from the Trainer Gallery. Nice. Another full art. Seems like all the big pulls, except for the. Actually, all of them, except for the Alolan Vulpix V, were all from the Trainer Gallery, including the Rayquaza. So I don't know if the trainer gallery just has better odds or if that's just how it's been. But as far as just the regular ultra rares, I'm really not getting getting anything. Four more packs left in this box. Not many chances left for it to uh, redeem itself, but we'll see. Drudagon. Trainer Gallery. Okay. Then after this, essentially, I, I don't plan on really kind of like usual of like, I'm not going to be buying any more booster boxes or elite trainer boxes and stuff of Silver Tempest. Um, but, you know, I may get a few packs here and there and stuff as I do for some other sets as well. Um, but the main big, you know, purchases for this set, kind of a one and done for launch day. Let's see, last pack of box number two. Nothing. Interesting. All right, well, you know, I guess we're just going to have to keep going and see what happens, right? Okay. Let's open up another box. Our third and final box for tonight. Huh. Just give me one of those alternate arts. Unknown or Lugia. Or the gold Lugia. Uh, even rainbow Lugia. Rainbow unknown. I'll settle for any of those things. Alright. Trainer gallery card. Passimian.
Hmm. I'm hoping the second box was just, you know, not the usual case. And I'm hoping it, I just didn't get super lucky in the first one. Because when the pull rates aren't great, no matter how many good cards you have, it just it makes it not fun, you know? I'm afraid for the calendar. Its days are numbered. <laughs> you uh, you get along with uh, with my wife for sure. Um, I've heard a variation of that joke. I forget what it was, but yeah. Heard it on, I think, on TikTok or something. Radiant Alakazam, Unknown V. All right, at least we got the regular V right there. And finally, another Radiant Alakazam as well. Unknown V. For reference, the promo card I got yesterday for Unknown looks like this. But it looks like it's the same, at least based on the HP and the 30-30, the kind of same cost. I think it's the same card, but this, this one is a like a different version of it for the promo. So that's, that's kind of cool. Star V. <laughs> That's kind of a fun one. Look at how like funky the colors are there. You know, like that's that's kind of a fun one. All right, I'll take that. first girl ranger that doesn't wear a skirt the very first one um trini didn't have a skirt first so first first female green ranger yeah but um but trini also didn't have a skirt also because you know the japanese version uh it wasn't um a female character but still, I mean, same same principle kind of applies with with uh, Shadow Fury one as well. about this one from the trainer gallery the corvanite v max dude that looks pretty cool i like that showing like the corvanite taxi and stuff too but this is like the gigantamax version of corvanite it's kind of interesting okay that's pretty cool Flappy.
Super Sentai version of Evan Pierre Yellow Ranger is a boy? Yeah. Yeah. So starting from the very first, you know, adaptation, they they wanted to have more than one female ranger. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. I, I thought I might have had a gold card there because I saw it was kind of stuck. Trainer gallery, I saw kind of the black. And I was like, wait, is it another uh, Rayquaza? We got the Duraludon VMAX. Wait, I think these are both... I think there's only two of, like, different gold uh, trainer gallery cards. Dude, this is awesome. We got both of them. Duraludon VMAX and Rayquaza VMAX. That's sick. Oh, man. All right, all right. Cool. All right, so really, the first and now third boxes have been delivering. It was just the second box that just uh, wasn't as, as good, I guess. Still, again, most, not all, but most of the good pulls have been from the trainer gallery. So I don't know if that's easier or not, but... Man... The other stuff is uh, is tough, it seems. Oh my gosh, no. Uh, and out of all the full arts and things, another Alolan Vulpix. Couldn't have been something new. I mean, it's a nice one. Don't get me wrong. It's a nice one. But that just takes away the chances of getting uh, something else that I, that I haven't pulled. Oh man. Dare you to rip it? No. I wouldn't do that. I mean, it's still a nice card. It's just we're getting towards the end. <laughs> I mean, honestly... I did better than I expected because, you know, I always pick out, like, here's my top five, six cards, whatever, uh, that I want to pull. Um, and usually I don't pull any of them uh, because usually my top ones are, like, the rarest ones. But I did get the Rayquaza, uh, and that was, like, probably my number three on the list. So, I mean, I feel like uh, it was better than expected. in terms of pulling what I would want to pull. Because I got something. Alright, what do we have left? Let's see. We have six packs left, folks. Six packs left. Another Radiant Serena. I think it probably is those three. Alright, 
If it's got a black code card, I'm going to save it here because I know that you at least get a hollow in the last slot. Oh, another black code card pack. Okay, we're going to save that. We'll just get the white code cards out the way, like this one here, because this means the last card is a non-hollow. Now, the trainer gallery could still be good, but if we want our best chance at, you know, the cards at the end, to save those for last, that's what we got to do. TCG Exchange, hello, hello. Hope you're having a good night. Thank you. I'm just kind of wrapping up here, and so far, not bad. I mean, I ended up pulling... Some gold cards, including Rayquaza and stuff. So, you know, it's been it's been good. It's been good. Having some fun here. Alright, let's see. Alright, there we go. So, last three packs of the night. All with at least a hollow in the back. And Trainer Gallery could also have something good. Let's see what happens. Alright. Are we ready? We're gonna we're gonna go one by one for these ones. Build up the hype. Build up the anticipation. All right, we got a reverse meow stick and superior V star. Okay, we got a V star. Superior V star. All right, so. Here we go. All right, reverse hollow smeargle and reuniclus. And the last pack for tonight from my third booster box. Let's see. Let's see. All right, ready, set, go! Skun Tank V. Oh, one of the worst Pokemon. <laughs> That's how we're ending it. Womp womp. Um. All right, well, let's do a little recap here. Let's get everything together and see see just how we did tonight from an Elite Trainer box, a Pokemon Center Elite Trainer box, and three booster boxes. Let's, let's do a little recap, shall we? Okay. There we go. So for the Radiant cards... We got a Radiant Serena, a Radiant Alakazam, a Radiant Jirachi. I believe these are all the three. Another Radiant Jirachi, another Radiant Jirachi, another Radiant Serena, Radiant Alakazam, and a Radiant Jirachi. So four Jirachis, two Alakazams, and two Serenas. I don't know if Jirachi is more common or not, if that's just my luck, but there you have it. All right. Next, the trainer gallery. We got Dredagon, Flaffy, Passimian, another Dredagon, Melodic, another Flaffy, Rockruff, Jinx. Another Melodic, Gardevoir, and for the regular Trainer Gallery, that's it. However, we do also have a couple of other cards. Let me just grab them real quick. Uh, da, 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 da. We'll get to the, the full arts and stuff later. Um, but I don't know where to put it here or later, but I got a Blissey V from the Trainer Gallery and the Corviknight V Max from the Trainer Gallery. Pretty cool. Okay. Okay. 
Skun Tank. I know there's a bunch of glare, but that's Skun Tank. Uh, we got a Chestnut V. Hisui and Arcanine V. Unknown V. Superior V. Omastar V. Alolan Vulpix V. Ursaluna V. Reshiram V. Another Reshiram V. Ho O V. Another Arcanine V. Reggie Drago. Another Vulpix. Another Reggie Drago. Another Chestnut. And that's it for the regular Vs. Okay. Then, I actually didn't get any VMAXs except for the, the Corviknight, you know, Trainer Gallery one, which is interesting. But V star wise, we got Superior, Lugia, Mawile, another Lugia, Alolan Vulpix, another Mawile. Those are the V stars that we got. Okay. Then. We got some full art trainers from the trainer gallery. Friends and Galler, Gordy, and Professor Burnett. And then from the, the regular set, we got an Omast RV, Alolan Vulpix V, and another Alolan Vulpix V. Then we got the gold cards from the trainer gallery, Duraludon VMAX, and Rayquaza VMAX. Actually, okay, yeah, these are VMAXs also. So these plus the Corviknight. On the VMAXs. So definitely the Rayquaza, I think, is the the best pull of the night. It looks super clean. Um, and yeah, you know, overall did okay. Didn't get some of the other big top cards that I would have wanted. Um, but you know, there's always other single packs and other boxes that will have these booster packs and stuff down the road as well. So there's still opportunity as well but for a, a big launch unboxing pretty decent overall at least better than like lost origin and stuff <laughs> so that's that's at least something anyways thank you all so much for watching hope you enjoyed um you're probably not going to see me on youtube for a couple weeks um as i'll be going out of town got a couple other things to take care of and stuff i there might be a random live stream but i'm not promising it and probably not and you know we'll see but most likely, I'll be back in December, uh, and we will have lots of fun stuff to open at that point. So make sure you're subscribed so that you know when I come on back to YouTube as well. Hope you all have, um, you know, good uh, Thanksgiving and everything uh, um, if I don't talk to you all by then. And uh, yeah, take care, and I will see you all later. Bye.